So in the first lecture, Richard gave you 2,000 years of philosophy. And then in my second lecture, I gave you about 300 years of science and psychology and philosophy. So this week is really easy. We've only got 100 years to get through. And for this uh, episode, I have uh, invented a time machine for you. And we're back um, 1860 in Oxford Natural History Museum, where these two guys are having a debate about evolution. Now, this guy on the on the left, on my left, is Thomas Huxley. Now, he's Darwin's bulldog. He likes Darwin. He's very he's very good at promoting Darwin. And this guy, uh, he's representing the church, so not not so happy about evolution. And it's got pretty hot because this guy just called this guy a monkey. Pretty bad. Um, so this week, a hundred years of evolution. We've got. We're going to start with Malthus. Now he said populations are too big and they're growing. They're going to die. Uh, then the origin of species with Darwin. Pretty important book. I think you'll agree. Then a bit more Darwin about man and animals. Uh, a bit more Darwin. We've got um, emotions there. Uh, Dobsansky, now he thinks evolution is quite important and you can't do anything really without evolution in biology anymore. Um, and some other people think animals are quite cute. So Conrad Lorentz and his geese. We're just going to um, add that to the pile. Uh, Curler's mentality of apes. That's, that was important at the time. Tinbergen, he liked gulls. Uh, but these, this is ethology. So we're going to talk about ethology a fair bit, the biology of the mind there and behaviour. Uh, Tinbergen, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, and then we're going to get on to eugenics. That's pretty bad. Um, difficult topic. Galton, Francis Galton. No, just put him on top. Uh, and then finally, to top that all off, we'll do a bit of Freud. Uh, so hang around uh, and good luck. <laughs>